if you were married to a man and he made a really, really good living, but let's just say for whatever reason, you guys had a lot of money. Like we're talking 50, 100, 200 million dollars. But he was, I don't know, let's just say he's 45 years old and he had a lot of shit going on. And he decides he wants to work, but you want him to stay at home and have the kids and take care of the kids. Would you ever divorce a man because you had $200 million and he wanted to keep working? Does that seem, he's only 45 years old, does that seem rational to you? No. Depends no. on the job. Oh, well, no. well, okay, what if you were a Victoria's Secret model? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, your, and your husband played quarterback for the, tum, for the fucking Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And here's the other thing. He went back to work after he had retired, and I'm sure his wife, Giselle mm -hmm. Munchen, was saying something to Tom Brady, something to the effect well of- Well done, that's a good fucking segue. Why, I gotta why, say, that was why, awesome. Why, why, are you, why are you sitting here going back to work? You, it's, it's over. You're past your prime. You, you, nobody You've plays, hit the wall. You hit the wall. <laughs> nobody plays quarterback at fucking 42, 43 years old. Brett that, Favre did. That's, that's yeah, insane. Did. And then he goes off and he wins a fucking Super Bowl <laughs> after his wife was probably telling him he needs to retire. So what do you think his wife did? Do you think his wife turned around and was like, you know what, Tom? I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you should have kept playing football for that seventh Super Bowl. I was wrong that you should have retired and that you were you were past your prime. Do you think that's what she did? No, or she, she was like, she's like, she really say that? So she's like, I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so what does he do? What does he do the year after that? Of course, Tom, you're 44 years old. You absolutely should retire. There's no way you should be there. Your arm strength is clearly going, but thanks to HGH, he's still throwing the fuck out of the <laughs> yes. football. Oh my and, God. And well, you know what he does? He leads the league in fucking passing. At 44 years old, he does this. Yes. And then and his best friend and, Gronk is right there with right him. There with <laughs> him. <laughs> and so, he's a fucking so, machine. So, so, fuck so now, that bitch. We're going to win a Super Bowl. Is he's, he single? He's made two. <laughs> he's made 250 mil that's how much he's been paid 250 million dollars for his family now granted Giselle Munchen's worth almost a billion dollars so she's actually worth more than him now in this case she's going to divorce him because he's the best at what he's ever done he's the best in the world at what he's ever done and he, that's okay. and he wants to keep doing this thing that he's he's not good at it. You're not dealing with a welder who's kind of good at his job and wants to <laughs> seem useful. He's the best quarterback. And, and me as a Dallas Cowboys fan, he is the best quarterback who's ever played. And she's going to fucking leave him. She filed for divorce three days ago to her to Tom Brady, and they have several children together. So I want to ask you guys, what the fuck is going on she here? Wants with this? I heard she's a witch. Oh. <laughs> I think she mm. wants control. Honestly, because how would you not want to support? Yeah, how much more control does she? Need. I mean, she she knew <laughs> what she was that, getting yeah. into when mm -hmm. she married him. I feel like it's often gender oh, oh, oh. reverse get, get that happens. Married him. But you're married Tom Brady, and he's not cheating on you. What the <laughs> fuck? He's not, dude. You married the Tom Brady. I mean, she's, Tom Brady she's will a run. Model. Dude, yeah. Tom Brady will run for president somewhere someday, and he'll win. win. Mm -hmm. He'll fucking win. Mm -hmm. And you had him. And you know what? If Tom. Brady was cheating. Who here thinks we wouldn't have heard about it? How old, how old is Giselle? Yeah. Giselle is, uh, she's eight years younger than I him. I think so she's he's 45. 42. 40 something. No, 42. I don't think she's, is she 42? I, thought she was I believe so. In her I'll 30s. Yeah, can you look that up? No, my, I believe my, she's my point like is, 41. You, my point is, you got the athlete. And you got the athlete. You got the athlete. Yeah, yeah. You got the athlete. And there's not a single peep about Tom cheating on you. Mm. And you have multiple mm. kids. And the two of you are going to be worth $2 billion when this is over. And you're going to leave him because he wants to work at his job where he is. Giselle Munchen's a great, you know, Victoria's Secret model, Hall of Famer, but not as good. Tom Brady is the best football player who has right. ever played football. And you want, you're going to break up with him. How many of you guys think you would date someone who's 45 years old and still working? You want to know? Because Tom Brady is three fucking months older than me, and I'm still working. That shit is crazy to me that she's yeah. gonna leave him. That is so disappointing. Why are you up under me? So like over what? So like why? Disappointing. Yeah. Just something to add. Football is like they don't really cheat on their wives because they're only gone for a day. Every other sport, they're gone for a couple days oh, God, and yeah. spend yeah. the night. So more. this is yeah. like really hard to cheat if they do. No, but like, he hasn't. Like he's been. No, they, I know. They've been there together well, for 13 years. Well, I do recall a time when he was on a private plane with Ben Affleck. By a hot cup. And there <laughs> was, was a Ben tea. Affleck. Wasn't Ben Affleck like an alcoholic or something? We blame And <laughs> someone else, another model, had his his ring on her finger. <gasps> do you guys remember that? Uh, vaguely, I don't remember. What? Oh, okay. 
Do you remember CJ? The no. straw that oh. broke the camel's back. But anyway, so <laughs> he's like not necessarily. Right? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. So. Well, well she does make more money. a cock ring. She does make more money than him, <laughs> so maybe he's kind of a resource drain. Maybe he, she, she, did yeah. you just Did hang. you just fact check me over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Mm. It's coming up in the news about like Ben Affleck's nanny. <laughs> ben Affleck oh. is a but he's no, got anyway, problems. A lot of, I think a lot of his stuff has been swept under the rug. Yeah. Tom Brady? Yeah. How about yeah. Tom Brady can't walk five feet without women throwing themselves at him? And, and like I and, guarantee and, you're right. And, and every single thing will look like he's And hurting. you know why? I I think, yeah, he's, he's not bad looking, but I think it adds value to him because he is married to a fucking Victoria's yeah. Secret. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly why yes. why she's filing for divorce. Why? I think because I Leonardo DiCaprio is now single. single. No, he's dating Gigi. <laughs> they were with each other before. I know. Do but you think she wants to go with dis? Disgusting Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know. What do you? Women. Think? Yeah. She likes Leo. What? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Isabella. I love you, you said, so you much. You said Dad Bod was hotter than Momoa. So she did. Oh, she did. Hey, can, yeah, can, yeah, can, yeah. Can I, can I be... No, Leonardo DiCaprio was like not. That's not it. They used to date. You know that, right? Yeah. No. Giselle, Giselle and Giselle. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That's first. his first. But like love. Giselle is so he's hot and beautiful, and Leonardo DiCaprio was like such a. He's kind of washed up. now. No. No. He's, I mean, he's yeah, some but really you know films. who's not washed up? Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, okay, so maybe she is that controlling that she wants somebody that's washed up, so maybe potentially easier to manipulate? Do you is think, that kind no, of where we're going? I got Here's a question. Do you think it's because she knows he's going to retire soon? And he's like, no, but, but okay, they, now they you're not in the limelight that, anymore. You got your damn, no, you got no, more opposite, rings than you opposite. got fingers. Do you think that opposite, that's the reason? Opposite. She had convinced him to retire twice. And, and when he came out of retirement, then they had the problem. Mm -hmm. When he came out of retirement, he had to leave the Bucks for 11 days because uh, because they were fighting. And he came back, and she he knew that she was going to leave him if he if he went to play football. Now, the, I mean, the thing That's is, like, I mean, Gronk it's kind of hot that he's like, "Fuck you, I'm I'm chasing my dream." Yeah. I mean, it's just like he's not good at football. He's great at football. Like, ready? Let me explain to you. You can't for, take for, away for, someone's dream. For, for yeah. Those, for those I of agree. you don't what understand, is wrong with you? you married him because he plays Giselle, football. Giselle. <laughs> On Madden, he's a 99 overall. Okay, he's got 99 awareness. He's got like 95 throw power. Okay, he can't run. He can't run. Throw power. He can't run, but he's got you know throw accuracy is like 99. Like seriously, it's Tom Brady. Let him fucking mm. let him dish the football. We, you're robbing. It's not just uh, it's not you. Just yeah. the, you. You're I robbing, wonder how accurate. You're robbing us. You're robbing yeah. us. I, I wonder watch how accurate we're he'd be behind this. my pistol. Huh? <laughs> probably probably wouldn't prob have to even aim the pistol. Mm. It would just magically go and hit a ball. Right. Yeah. All alphas. I think she's probably doing it because of the kids. I think there's. Yeah, how like, does that hurt the kids to play? Yeah, to, I'll tell to you. I'll tell you. So I used to work in women's shelters, and this is just a small proportion of people. This isn't the whole world, so don't get it like confused. But all the battered women were dating football players. I'm not saying yeah. he beat beat. Giselle or anything like that, but I bet you maybe his behavior has been off and she's worried. That's the only thing I could think of uh, I, with so, the so, kids. So oh, the, I, I'm, I'm going to guess those football players are on this fun little drug called Trembolone and Tom, <laughs> probably. Tom, Tom Brady. Honestly, Tom, if you look probably. at Tom Brady, he has never yeah. touched Trembolone or anything else other than HGH. Well, what about when their heads get hit? You know oh, what CTE? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. a really interesting. So, uh, you know, Junior Aaron Seau. Hernandez. Aaron, Aaron Hernandez, Junior yeah. Seau. Junior Seau shot himself in a shotgun in the chest oh, because geez. he wanted to preserve his his brain for afterwards because he knew he was suffering from yeah. encephalitis and so they, he wanted people that Mike Webster who played center for the uh, play center for the uh, uh, Tom Brady is the closest yeah. thing to Jesus yeah uh, oh but, that was good that was there, good there is there is some there is some idea out there that OJ Simpson you know suffered from like, like he yeah. got he ran the ball more than any player in the 1970s. What LeBron James is for basketball, O.J. Simpson was for football in the 1970s. Was yeah. He was yeah. the most important offensive player in the entire 1970s. So you, know, you get hit in the head a lot. Aaron, Ro or Aaron Hernandez, have you ever seen those horrible yeah. hits he took in college and later on, like, devastating hits? Mm -hmm. And maybe that shakes something loose and you lose the ability to, like, function and have a... Um, so I, 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 I would, I would say that... Your prefrontal cortex. I would, so the, it, and also it's by position, too. So yeah, like, yeah, Tom like, Brady's playing quarterback. How, I mean, what's the, what's the average, like, uh, career length of a guy who's a running back. It's four. It's four years or less. For so, a what's the average career length for a wide receiver? 
It's a little bit longer. It's What's the average re- tight? You can just go on down positions. Quarterbacks, 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 quarterbacks offensive line. As long as you got a good offensive so line, you can play for a long su- time. But wouldn't that support this idea that it's a little cray cray for him to go back and play at 45? No, he's great. But I'm saying like may- maybe there's something off. I don't know. He's really good. Like I, I bet he's good, but like, is it normal for people to go back at forty five? It's, it's not normal for people to be able to go back at forty five. Michael mm-hmm. Jordan went back. He was he was he would t- he took the Wizards to the playoffs. That's basketball. He was at forty two. That's harder. Mm-hmm. Like it, what Michael Jordan had to do physically is harder than what Tom Brady has to do. All right, all right I guess wow. here's but the, like getting hit in the head wise. Yeah. Here's the, here's the simple answer. Giselle's a witch. Okay. Giselle's a witch. Okay. And the simple answer is, you he's like, fuck this. I need to go back and play football because I got to get away from this That's bitch. right. And also, the other thing is, it. he's Tom, <laughs> just as you said, he's Tom fucking Brady. He is a Hall of Fame quarterback, still playing the game. Uh, I mean, look at look at like Peyton Manning. Look at Brett Favre. Look at the guys who would do something, you know, maybe not to his level. Well, I mean, they were pretty pretty close. But what happens is when, you, when you've done that all your life and you're like, I can't, I can't fathom a life mm. where I'm not going to the Super Bowl, where I'm not leading a team, where I'm not kicking ass on the Patriots or, or Bucks or wherever on the fuck purpose. I am. And, and I mean, even to the point where like, like uh, Favre, he left fucking Green Bay so he could go play for uh, what the Jets, and then he went play, to the to the yeah, Vikings, Vikings of all fucking plays. Yeah. yeah, because he still wanted to have that. He can't imagine a life mm. where he's not a quarterback. And when you're married to a witch who can't imagine a life <laughs> where you're not a quarterback, then that probably causes strife the, the, in the marriage. It's the been, yeah. a lot of his fulfillment and purpose for the, so long that it's like, I can't even imagine what the transition out of that would right. be too. Well, and that, you well, see like, that what happen. What would my life be then they, after that? They get into golf or, or heavy betting or mm-hmm. something like that. There, there's there's mm-hmm. this transition out of the competitiveness. But here's the thing, right? Because he's more competitive than most people who pl- who are good at football. He's even more. Co- he's got that. He's got that dog in him, like uh, Tiger Woods or Michael Jordan had. Uh, so, so here's the thing: as Homo sapiens, really great book by I believe Daniel Lieberman. It's called the the story of the human body. Mm-hmm. It describes Homo sapiens as being so. Like we have sweat glands. You know, so most mammals don't have sweat glands. Mm-hmm. The reason why is so we can go long distances. We have hair on the top of our head, but not on our body. Again, so we can sweat. So, there you go. You're sweating. Uh, we have kneecaps, so we can walk upright. <laughs> We have abductor muscles and adductor muscles so we can walk upright. We also have the ability to throw objects overhand. Primates cannot do that. Monkeys can't throw overhand. We, we have two eyes on the front of our head for depth perception. Humans are teamwork oriented, long distance hunters. That's what humans are. We are, again, nomadic tribes. We're able to walk. There's a, one guy who walked from the Bering Strait all the way to the tip of Argentina. Humans were made to walk long distances. When you hear really successful people, billionaires, they go have to make a decision. What do they say? I need to go take a walk. Walking is your natural state for homo sapiens. Movement. Right? But, but also, it is also the teamwork aspect of it. Nothing felt better for me than flying a, a mission with my the guy on my flight crew or winning a football game mm-hmm. with my the guys on my football team or my team uh, in jiu-jitsu the, the guys where we we would win or wrestling how long, how long did you serve seven years and seven days did you so you re-upped then did you uh, no i didn't have to, i was a, i was a uh, navigator so okay. flight crew you do the reason i'm asking is a lot of guys will re-enlist because they don't want to leave their team well not, not mm-hmm. they don't they want to get back out yeah, yeah for sure they want to get out there they don't want to leave their team so that thank you for your service thank you darling uh so anyway the, the 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 thing is like that feeling of camaraderie there is no higher order for men, and to some extent for women also. For, yeah, like uh, an AA, yeah. men and women. There you go, for mm-hmm. sure. Exactly the same thing. Like you guys are, comp- you feel you feel a sense of accomplishment mm-hmm. when someone else makes it to two years. Absolutely. Especially when you've seen this motherfucker f- throwing up in a, a toilet and about Absolutely. to kill himself. Mm-hmm. For sure. So that teamwork camaraderie, that is a hard thing to get. Now you get a n- different type of teamwork when you and your wife are, I would imagine, raising a child together. I'm sure that would also be in, uh, important. But the thing is, Here's a, I tell girls this all the time. They come to Vegas and they're like, well, I want to be a real estate agent and I got accepted to work at Wet Republic. Well, which should you do first? Because I'll tell you which one you can't do when you're 35. Wet Republic. Wet Republic. You go to Wet Republic first mm-hmm. and then you go be a real estate agent later. So guess what he can do now that he can't do when he's 55? He oh, can that's still, true. He yeah. can play quarterback now. But he can't play quarterback when he's 55, so he's going to do that now, mm. and that's the re- that's part of the reason why. Like every, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, mm. like, damn. And, and I'll tell you, like I'm, I'm I'm I was nowhere near the athlete he is, but like I would I play basketball six days a week. The idea of me never being able to play basketball again mm. would break my heart. I mm. play it all the time competitively, mm. and the idea of not being able to do that would just break my heart. So that's I want to do every day. I want to play basketball until I can't do it anymore. Mm. So I understand that point. This is a this is a really good quote. Thanks for the, this is not even a super chat here. I got to read this. Bridget Nielsen once said, "I became famous when I married Sylvester Stallone, 
and I became more famous when I divorced Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Anyone here think Giselle's feeling inferior? Mm. Yeah. I mean, she does not have a 99 throw power. No, she isn't. She's not. She's a 42 on Madden. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so. I mean, she's still going to model. I don't think for one second she's Does she not. now outshine him at, if he's retired? Uh, Tom, I mean, she still Tom fucking Brady. Yeah. Like, in Brazil. She, do, do you guys, you want to do the other thing? Does hey. a witch like Giselle like outshine Tom Brady now that he's mm, retired? She's about to cast a spell. Or does she, does, does she think that she outshines him? Because if I she think believes it's she's be a higher lot harder value for than her. Him, Mm -hmm. To find someone, then it's going to be for him. That's yeah. definitely mm -hmm. the truth. Yeah. yeah, which is stupid for her to break up. Oh, yeah. you know, here's, here's so, another. is she going to find someone comparable? The like chances are a upgrade. lot less less likely for her than they're mm -hmm. going to be for him. I I sincere, I 100% yeah. agree with you. However, I will also throw this out. We've brought this up before. When uh, a a couple are making the same amount of money or maybe the guy's making a little bit more and they get married and that woman is in a position where she is uh, promoted to a, a higher status or she's making more money, mm -hmm. significantly more money than that guy, right? That is what precipitates divorce it, when, it, when it's about money. Mm. Divorce is usually about money or sex. Mm. And so when it's about money and that woman is making, like she goes from making like, 50,000 to making 150,000 and he's still making 50,000 that's what precipitates divorce because now that guy is at a lower status than he was when they first got together so this here's this hypothetical here is if Tom Brady retires from football now Giselle is is up here and he's right here even if it's just in the back of her head it's like just a lizard brain hind brain kind of thing she sees him as being less status than herself because she still she makes a shit ton of money as it is we're doing what she does now is it does that precipitate the divorce because it's almost like because he's retiring she gets the promotion and he's at the still or he's at the same or he's less he's a lesser guy as a result of that I mean I think she's going to leave him anyway yeah, I'm, I'm, I think she's a witch. Like, leave, leave and go where? Where? The, 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 fisher, the fishers are so bad at this point. Like, the idea that, again, this is one of these things. Ladies, if I'm really good at my job and I'm 45 years old, I'm not 65 years I'm old. I'm fucking supporting your ass. And I want to yeah. like play. cheering you I'm, on. Support me. You get to sit in the fucking. I know, but suite. I would still be no, fucking No, I'm just saying, I agree with you. I agree so with you. I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. What I'm saying is, like, it's not just that you get yeah. the support. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you get all, all that comes with... Dude, there are two cities in the United States, Boston, Massachusetts, and Tampa Bay, Florida. He literally owns both of those. He <laughs> owns two U.S. cities. There is no way... I, Fuck it. He could probably walk anywhere in New York and he's never gonna have to pay for anything. Do you think they have a sexless marriage? They do. Oh, of course I they feel do. Like what? Thing I like what? Else. Yeah. Un, 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 Ten un, un, years. What? Absolutely. What? Absolutely. Se sexless marriage? No sex? Of course. Yeah, she's filing like, for divorce. Of course they have a sexless marriage. Of course. She's no. in fact not not only do they have a sexless marriage. I mean, I, how many kids do they have? Three or four. And how old are they? Probably per. They probably have a nanny per kid. Yeah. They probably uh, like do. what? Like that's, yeah, that's as if she's like I, I, well, I, I, too I, busy with the kids. Not, not only that, Tom I'll Brady, bet, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet she. I'll bet she even she uses so sex good. as sort of like leverage a tool? to win, exactly. to win arguments. Yeah. yeah. I'll bet she uses sex to win. How as leverage can, are we arguments. bashing Giselle? How can you I, say I, he's I'm crazy? I'm saying she's being a little bit. This is a little irresponsible. Yeah. I'm 45. I deserve to get to work. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's all I'm saying. I deserve to perform. How many I'm 45. kids? Two. Two. Wow. One's nine and one's 12. Oh, shit. But I feel like these are things that I actually do like happen. So it's not even just a bash, but it's probably really what happens around that, like when people are getting divorced. Yeah. Or they're unhappy. Oh, yes, that's just marriage, I just, too. I cannot what? believe that Tom Brady is three not... three total. One from another marriage. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. like, Tom Brady is not getting sex in his marriage from his hot ass well, I'll tell you this. wife and that... Giselle is not getting the dick she deserves from her hot ass. He's about to get a husband. whole hell of a lot of sex now. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, what and are how you... is she going to feel when those other women are around? Tom, her if kids? you're watching, mm -hmm. you're in Vegas. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anywhere, really. Not in the DM, anywhere Tom. in the world. 